The MHRA was the first national regulator worldwide to carry out an Internet Day of Action in 2006 where we targeted legal website owners across the UK selling counterfeit and licensed medicines. Which, and these raids were accompanied by the police, press and international observers. And we targeted these um, legal sites and we shut down um, criminal networks and prosecuted individuals. The initiative was then expanded to an international Internet Week of Action and coordinated by Interpol. And it has gone from eight countries to 115 countries this year. And it has now become the largest internet-based global operation that is aimed at tackling and disrupting criminal networks operating illegal online pharmacies, selling counterfeit and unlicensed medicine. The operation comprising of approximately 250 participating agencies made up of national medicines regulators, police and customs was also aimed at raising maximum public awareness about the significant health risk associated with medicines um, and the detrimental um, impact that they have on health and the link that, uh, to fatalities. Where criminal links have been identified to the UK, these have been reported and followed up by the MHRA enforcement group. Through sharing intelligence via Interpol's headquarters in Lyon, we've ultimately been able to disrupt, dismantle and shut down criminal networks operating illegal websites and businesses. We have ultimately safeguarded public health by making the world a better place for a short period. But in order to tackle, in order for this operation to be successful in tackling the supply, we urge the public not to buy prescription medicines over the internet without a prescription. And if you do have a prescription, ensure you buy from a legitimate online pharmacy.